And after a winter of severe weather, coastal towns across Maine are still recovering from heavy damage. Also very true for our communities off the coast. Now a new report is forecasting how islands in Maine could fare in a future of higher seas and powerful storms. Donovan Lynch has more. In the face of climate change, a state zoning authority wants to know just how destructive things could get. This is one of our top priorities, yes. On Wednesday, staff with the Land Use Planning Commission presented a report predicting the impact of rising sea levels on certain island communities in Maine. Folks are seeing the effects of these storms now, and um, the prediction is that as sea level rise increases, um, the effects become worse. Using sea level forecasts from NOAA and detailed maps of island communities, Ben Godso and his colleagues at the LUPC found that if seas rise one to two feet, which is predicted by 2050, two structures on Matinicus, one structure on Monhegan, and four on Ragged Island in Knox County will be impacted, among others. For even higher sea levels, the predicted damage mounts considerably. The idea was to identify where in which communities we wanted to go do outreach and do more work. With many of Maine's islands in unorganized territory, it's up to the LUPC to plan and zone these communities. As the commission hopes to use this research to assist in mitigation efforts in these areas, the goal is also to bring the study closer to shore. We intend to continue our work and, and bring some of the methodology that we use for this report to look at the mainland, but we haven't done that yet. And this report is a very early step. The authors tell me they're planning to go to these island communities to understand better what the potential impact of sea level rise could be. At the Land Use Planning Commission meeting in Brewer, Donovan Lynch, News Center, Maine.